Bookhams, we're a family owned business. We make fresh pasta, cheese, butter, and pasta sauces. We try and source as many of our ingredients as possible locally. So we're very much for giving farmers route to market. That's our philosophy as a company. My background's farming. Um, so we've got a passion for agriculture in the area. Here we are, this is our production area. Um, this is where we make our pasta, our sauces, wrap the butter. Um, here we have our pasta sauce making. What we've done here, we've actually taken onions, chopped the onions up, we place them into our brat pans, gas-fired brat pan. It's like a large saucepan. It's got an oil jacket around the outside to dissipate the heat nice and neatly. No preservatives, no additives, no gremlins. We don't add sugar. You'll see us adding carrots, chopping up carrots, mixing those with the garlics, fresh garlics from the garlic farm on the Isle of Wight, local carrots, and that gives us a sweetness that we need to add to the tomatoes, so we don't have to add any sugar whatsoever. We're using um, Sicilian tomatoes, we're using Sicilian tomatoes, I know we're a local company wanting local ingredients, but the Sicilian tomatoes are a constant good quality. So we wanted to marry that good quality sauce with local ingredients. Wherever we can get local ingredients, we're using them. When it comes to a real quality end, we have to use the Sicilian tomatoes. So Paul has added the, some spices into here. Um, he's added the, the carrots um, and the onions. And basically it'll sit in here now to fry off um, with, on a low heat uh, for a couple of hours just to sort of, and it will reduce in, in, in its size. We've added a little bit of water in there to stop anything from burning as well. Um, we then add our tomatoes. It will then be left to, to cook in there gently for two to three hours. Um, and then Paul will then start decanting into the jars. The first lot that we take off will be the truly tomatoes. We then add, we then pour them into the jars again, and we add in um, the mushrooms for our truly tomato and mushroom mix. Paul will then chop up the chilies, the fresh chilies and fresh peppers. They will then come into here in the second half of the brat pan. So we're using, they will, they, then they'll cook into there, let that flavor cook into the things, get the, the spicy flavor. We'll then decant those into the jars. And the final thing will be to decant what's left into the jars uh, with a, we'll place in the chopped up black uh, olives. Basically, pasta making is eggs, water, flour mixed together to make a dough. Right. That dough is then either stretched out or rolled out. We've opted for the, for the latter, so we're rolling the pasta out as opposed to stretching it to give us a better quality. Uh, we've actually started growing durum wheat now in Reigate in Surrey. We've had that milled in, in, on the Isle of Wight and we're using that now within our pasta making. We mix them in the first hopper, that's then tipped up into our rolling mill and that will roll out sheets of lasagna sheets into a, into a large roll which then goes on to our ravioli machine. The ravioli machine feeds those two sheets of, rav of, of lasagna sheets into the machine. Um, we have a filler, our fillings, which are fresh ingredients, again locally sourced. Um, those fillings are then pumped in between the two sheets and we get three, three raviolis made in one, in one strip. They fall out onto the conveyor. Um, it's a shaker conveyor. This will break the raviolis apart onto the dryer machine. This is a pre-dryer. This is a, a, a series of five shelves inside the, the dryer and they shake the raviolis along. There's a, a, a hot air element and air being blown across the top of those raviolis. What we're doing is we're drying the fillings inside the raviolis but not actually making a dried pasta. What we're doing is, is actually just drying them so they don't stick together. Once they, they vibrate along, they drop off to the end, they vibrate along again, drop down. When they come out of the other end, they go into a blast chiller they're obviously warm at this stage. Um, the blast chiller runs at minus two degrees. The plan is that by the time they reach the other end of that, which is about a five minute journey that they take from one end of the chiller to the other end, they're now at four degrees. Um, that's a t the right temperature to pack them. If we pack them too hot, they'll stick together. Yeah. Um, and if we, pack, if we dry them out too much, they'll crack up. So we have to get that just right and it's all, all programmed to work like that. This is our new cheese. This is a, a joint venture between ourselves as cheesemakers and the Harrisons, who are dairy farmers at Rudgwick. Um, the Harrisons are third generation dairy farmers. So we decided to try and make a cheese that's different to everything else that's out there, which was quite fun to try and find something that was different. I've always thought there's a, there's a market for something between a cheddar and a Parmesan, um, something that could be eaten as an everyday cheese. Um, could be very good for a ploughman's cheese because of the longer taste profile, but also great over your pastas and that made out of full fat milk as opposed to the Parmesan, which is skim milk, 
has more of a taste profile to it. It would melt better in your cooking. And this is the result of it. Um, Sussex Charmer um, has been developed over the last couple of years. Um, it, uh, we have just won the, um, at the Nantwich International Cheese Awards, we've just won Best New Dairy Product for 2008, um, which is quite an achievement for us because we've, uh, you know, up against all the big boys, um, all your sort of Dairy Crest, your Kerry Golds, all, all the major guys who've got a lot of money to spend on research and development teams and that sort of thing. And we walked along with a little idea, a bit of work, very good quality milk, and have developed this cheese into something that is now a, an international award winner. So our range obviously includes the Sussex Charmer. We do fresh pasta sauces. We do four types of sauces. Just one gold award again this year for the, for the sauce at the Great Taste Awards. We then do butter. These are freshly made butter, churned in the old fashioned way. We age cream for three days. We wash the churned butter three times with ice cold water. We do a slightly salted and an unsalted, all hand packed. We also make fresh pasta. Um, we do an unfilled pasta. This is our new shape, Casarecci which means homemade in Italian. Um, we also do, uh, this is Casarecci, but this is made with the wholemeal flour. This is flour that we've grown in Rygate in Surrey, um, had it milled on the Isle of Wight, and that basically is 100% um, made here with local flour, local eggs, local water, and uh, the only locally produced, local ingredient pasta in the country. We've got penne as a shape, and then we've got um, tagliatelle, we do a range of long pastas as well as our short pasta. We do gnocchi, which is a potato flour, rice flour for celiacs, it doesn't have any wheat in it. Um, very good comfort food, that works very well. And then we do a range of raviolis in either a 200 gram or a 400 gram pack. 400 gram pack, you'll notice lots of pubs and restaurants now will be saying that they're selling our products. We're supplying lots and lots of pubs and restaurants now with our products.